We kick it all year long. Hence the name of the song. Summer, winter, spring. All the winter trees turn to winter good weeds. Burning ass, cause I tried always come in mid season. We be in the studio. Joe went a bottle with a mic just right to morning for no reason. What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. Uh, it is Halloween, October 31st, and we have uh, an NFL game, Thursday Night Football, and uh, four NBA games to talk about. Um, if you do love the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot over here, I'm trying to grow this one day at a time. Basically, last night, um, similar to the night before, uh, went one and three. Uh, the only pick we hit out of four was our uh, Golden State uh, versus Golden State played the Pelicans on the back to back so beat them twice in a row uh, in San Francisco uh, the other plays uh, we don't know what happened to the uh, Celtics uh, they were kind of due for a loss so we can assume that but none of the shots fell uh, they had a lot of good looks uh, they had a lot of chances Threw up a lot of threes. Uh, they played decently, but zero shots fell. Zero layups fell. Uh, it was kind of an anomaly looking game. So, I uh, can't say that that would happen uh, normally, uh, but the Pacers did have the revenge from the playoffs too. So, kind of iffy about that one. But watching it, uh, basically none of the Celtics' shots fell. It's almost like the Pacers moved the basket from where it was last time the Celtics were there. So they just couldn't get any uh, rhythm going, you know. So uh, we did like the Hornets uh, against Toronto. They won by five instead of seven. Um, Portland beat the Clippers by one. So Clippers still haven't won a game at home yet. And they have a back-to-back -to -back tonight. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And um, Lakers. Lakers didn't show up against Cleveland. So they didn't show up to a point where Bronny got in and uh, got his first basket last night. So. Um, one and three we go. Um, not a lot of data to go off of in the NBA just yet, so kind of playing it smart, kind of playing it small, just going off of what uh, is supposed to happen by the numbers and uh, evaluating after that. So uh, today I have um, a NBA parlay uh, that I'm going to get into uh, just to kind of test the waters and uh, with some totals in it, some money lines in it, uh, see what happens. So. Uh, first up, let's go ahead and talk about this NFL game real quick. Uh, Texans and the Jets. Uh, Jets are two-point home favorites. Totals at 42 and a half. Um, Jets have been in kind of like free-fall mode. Uh, they put all the pieces together. Uh, they got rid of the pieces that they thought they didn't need. And they haven't won a game since. So, um, I think that it's hard to put your money on forcing the Jets to win. And in a situation where they need to win to turn their season around, I, I can't bank on the Texans uh, winning either or covering the two. Uh, what I do remember hearing last week is Aaron Rodgers saying, we need to score 30 every time. And uh, Houston's not going to let you just score 30 without them scoring 20. So uh, I'm on the over. Um, I do know a lot of people are on the under, but I'm on the over 43. Uh, 42 and a half, depending on where you can get it. Uh, but I'm only over 43. So, uh, if Aaron Rodgers is trying to score 30, I'm only over. Uh, I still don't have a pick for the side. Uh, but if he's trying to score 30, I would uh, I would go Jets also. So, uh, they almost won their last game. They've been really close in a couple games. They could have easily won. Uh, but they just either find a way to lose, shoot themselves in the foot. Uh, miraculous play on the other side, well, whatever the case may be, uh, but uh, over 43 is my pick for the NFL game. Uh, moving on to NBA, uh, we have the Bucks and the Grizzlies up first. Uh, Grizzlies on a back-to-back, -back, coming off a loss to Brooklyn. Uh, Bain and Smart went out in that game with injuries. John Moran only scored 14 points, um, and now they come... Uh, Come play the Bucks uh, the next night. So, uh, Bane is smarter game time decisions. Giannis is also a game time decision. Um, but I think the Bucks have a good chance to uh, win this game. I just don't trust the spread. So, I have Bucks money line in a parlay uh, facing Brooklyn or facing Memphis on the back to back. Uh, Rockets and the Mavs. 
Uh, Mavs are six and a half point home favorites. Uh, I like the over in this game. Uh, it was at 227 yesterday. It's at 225 today. Um, I like the over. These teams have uh, played higher scoring games together and um, gotten over this number a couple times this season. So being that I uh, think the Mavs are a less defensive team than the Rockets, uh, but the Rockets will have to keep up with the Mavs scoring. I think that the over is a good look. So over 225. Suns at the Clippers. Uh, Clippers coming off a loss to Portland by one point at home yesterday uh, when they were the heavy favorite um, in that game. So uh, I think it was eight and a half points they were favored by. Uh, so still haven't won a game at home yet. Uh, I don't trust them to win tonight um, on a back-to-back. -back. So I have the Suns uh, money line in a parlay. Uh, Clippers could cover, but on the back-to-back, -back, those legs might be tired in the fourth quarter, and um, I don't trust it. So, uh, Suns, money line, and in the final game, it's actually the one before the Clippers Suns, but Spurs Jazz, Spurs on the back-to-back, -back coming off a loss to uh, Oklahoma City. Um, I think they're going to be resting a couple big players. I'm not sure which ones just yet, uh, but I like the under. I like the under in this game. Uh, under 223 and a half. Um, I just think that uh, Lance going to be tired uh, in order to win for either team. Defense is going to have to kick in. Um, so, uh, under 223 for that one. And that is a parlay that is plus six something. Plus 660. So, uh, that's what I'm marking with today. Um, Depending on your unit size is how de what depends on how much you put on this parlay. I know it says half a unit um, for me, uh, but it's probably closer to a third of a unit. So, um, and over 42 and a half, I have a straight bet. So, lock down, let's get this money, and we will be back tomorrow to talk some more uh, uh, NBA and maybe some college football. So, see you then.